हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस द एनेस्थीशिया क्वेश्चन दैट केम इन योर सीबीटी टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन 66 इयर ओल्ड मैन विद अ पास्ट मेडिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंट हाइपरटेंशन हाइपरलिपिडीमिया पेरिफेरल वास्कुलर डिजीज अंडरगोइंग इन इलेक्टिव मल्टी लेवल पोस्टीरियर लंबार लेमिनेक्टमी एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेड फ्यूजन एज ही इज अवेकनिंग फ्रॉम एनेस्थीशिया ही कंप्लेन्स ऑफ पेनलेस एबिलिटी to painless inability to see out of both eyes on physical examination he was found to have absent bilateral light perception which of the following is most common anatomical location contributing to perioperative vision loss for prone spinal surgery so this is a complication that we have already discussed called as povl and we know povl the most common cause is ischemic optic neuropathy that happens because you put the patient in prone position for a long time which causes critical decrease in blood supply to optic nerve that is why it is called as ischemic optic neuropathy i o n so the correct answer is optic nerve question number 2 a 68 year old man collapses in the middle of a mall a good samaritan immediately rushes to help the victim he assesses the responsiveness and pulse immediately starts cpr calls for help by dialing 911 during cpr he performs external compressions at the rate of 90 with 2 inches of sternal depression the most appropriate action would be now this is the question that i have told you is like a short short question five do's and five don'ts of high quality cpr we already know the five do's are rate 100 to 120 that is not less than 100 not more than 120 so this question fits in the do's and don'ts of high quality cpr he is doing at 90 per minute which is not acceptable so you will increase the rate of compression all right question number 3 a 28 year old patient who is g2p2 on postpartum day 2 complains about having a intense headache pregnant patient postpartum day to intense headache automatically what should come to your mind pdph post dural puncture headache the patient reports that the headache started in the morning describes it as an intense frontal headache severity 7 by 10 improves with lying down worsens with sitting up accompanied by blurry vision nausea tinnitus and not relieved by paracetamol the patient had an uneventful lscs 38 weeks of gestation with subarachnoid block which of the following is the most appropriate action rush the patient to operating room for urgent craniotomy no monitor patient for respiratory depression no of offer epidural blood patch no reassure the patient that this type of headache is normal after delivery no sorry you have already given i'm really sorry which of the following you have already treated with conservative management and if the patient is not improving then yes you will give intense headache you have already tried conservative management the patient is not improving yes you will give epidural blood patch okay identify the capnogram whenever you look at capnogram you find a notch in the expiratory phase that means the patient is trying to breathe under the effect of muscle relaxant that is spontaneous breathing under muscle relaxant called as qrra notch we have already discussed all types of capnogram i hope you know how to interpret a capnogram and we have a proper table in dfx where we have discussed how to go about capnography all of the following are non invasive methods of ventilation venturi high flow nasal cannula helmet mask all of the above see when you say invasive ventilation that means the airway has to be invasive that is a endotracheal tube or a tracheostomy tube apart from that all other modes of ventilation are non invasive so these are non invasive modes of ventilation so these were the questions that came in your cbt i hope you found this cbt uh, okay and the questions were little on the tougher side i wanted to keep them that way so that you are not over confident about anything but i do sincerely hope that you go with whatever we have discussed in dfx and you give it your best shot thank you so much and all the very best